or knock something over. It's his way of being funny. All right, Nancy, that's quite enough. Now, just finish your juice. Thank you. And, Bunny, well, why aren't you eating your egg? Now, Carol, your mom, don't you know what I... take it easy. Let me give you some coffee. Well, you know, Bear, I have a cup. It's already poured. It's here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I just remembered. Our subscription to the Phoenix Advertiser. I've got to cancel it. Thank you, darling. Nancy, where was this? Don't ask. I don't know why I have to eat eggs. Eggs every morning give you cholesterol. Who's that? Daddy. Well, Daddy was referring to his arteries, not yours. What about my arteries? They are perfect. Oh. <laughs> well, they've always worked very well for me. I'm glad. <laughs> Mom! Oh, just one second, darling. I'm going to get Daddy his coffee. Oh, oh, this cup is dirty. Here. We're going to the airport together, right, Dad? Right. But we're not going on the same plane, right? Right. Why? He already explained it six times, dummy. We're going to the new house in Denver with Aunt Vera. Daddy's going to L.A. just for day and coming home tonight to spend their second honeymoon trip with Mommy. He'll take lots of time driving our car to Denver, where we'll see them on Sunday. Right, Daddy? Right. You know everything. Hey, what are the movers doing with our footlocker? I don't know. Well, I told them not to touch the luggage in the hallway. I, that's where I left the footlocker. Vera, didn't I? I'll handle it. Oh, no. You finish your coffee, Walt. I will handle it. I, I must have left it in the living room with the other stuff that had to go. Slow down. They're not going anywhere. I don't know how she survives. Picking up every two years, moving an entire household from one city to another. Your sister survives because I'm organized. Well, is that the answer? Organized for both of us. That's the way she likes it. Coffee, please. Oh, Vera, just in time. <laughs> oh, I don't think I told you. Tom Donaldson's been transferred to Denver, too. Well, has he? Oh, that's good news, Walt. I really am very fond of Helen. And Tom. Who's Donaldson? Another corporation nomad. <sighs> Oh, Walter, I had the men put the footlocker right into the uh, station wagon, so... You're lugging that thing with you in the car? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Vera, last time we moved, you know that we lost all our tax records, marriage certificate, and the baby pictures. This time they go on the honeymoon. Some honeymoon, driving a station wagon to Denver. And don't start until after you've both had a good night's rest. I'm getting the 8 o'clock plane back here. We'll be in bed by 8.10, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Vera, you do have the phone number of the hotel. Okay. When do you check in? I, I've got to, uh, well, get rid of the movers and then um, wait for the real estate man to come. And uh, the gas has to be turned off and, uh, and the electricity. What you do, memorize the list? Oh, that list. 
Oh, where is that list? I haven't seen that for a while. Do you suppose we talked about it? I don't know, but I need it. There are phone numbers on there and... Oh, the list! Oh, Walter, you made copies. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Would you like some more coffee? <laughs> Don't you never talk, mister? He was over his cold. You know his nose is always running. It's like a leaky hose. I have enlarged tear ducts. Oh, sure. Oh, well, sure. that's all right, honey. Who has the plane tickets? I, 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 I don't honey, know. The honey. Right here. Oh, then I did give them to you, didn't Not I? Not exactly. Yeah, I found them stuck between the telephone books. Oh. Your mother's a little crazy, isn't she, kids? A little. <laughs> okay, Nancy, bye, love. Bye, bye. Bye, buddy. Oh, Vera, don't forget. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No, I forgot. What was it? Sorry, go on. Um, school. <laughs> Call the school Monday morning. I'll remember. We don't start school on Monday. It's between semesters. Well, yes, I know that, but I think if you get enrolled, both uh, of you. Honey, we that, gotta you know, go. It's a new city and yeah. all. Yes, oh, I know, I know, Walter, okay. right? Come on, sweetheart. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. Oh, your nose, no. No, buddy. You have some tissues with you? Vera? Come on. Okay, thanks, Vera. Bye, okay. darling. Darling. Bye, Mom. Love you. Bye, sweetheart. Yes. Goodbye. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Okay. Oh, a uh, hot bath waiting at the hotel. Okay, darling. Bye-bye. Thank you, Walter. Have a good trip. Okay, darling. Don't work too hard. Don't worry. Have fun, all. Bye. See Bye. you. Bye.
Thank you very much. Thank you. And enjoy your dinner. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes, it is. Walter, where are you? Oh, well, you're not coming, are you? No, they're driving us out to that new borax plant in Antelope Valley. No, tonight. They want us to see it before we leave. Walter, when can you get away? Oh, well, that's not so bad. Unless they spring another surprise on us. Well, who can say? You know the way they are. If it looks like I'm going to be stuck here another day, I'll let you know first thing. Honey, I don't like the idea of you sitting around that hotel either. Well, I hate to say it, but you might have to drive up to Denver without me. Oh, no, Walter, I don't want to do that. Yes, I mind. Of course I do. If I absolutely have to. It's an interstate all the way up, so it won't be too bad. I mean, you can handle it all right. Walter, I know I can handle it. I've driven on the interstate before. On our trip to the Grand Canyon. I know you were with me in the car that time. This time you won't be. No, I'm not angry. I'm just very disappointed. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sitting here in this motel room, looking very cute, I might add. Without my husband for the second honeymoon, I mean, it's sort of... Yeah, I know, I know. Look, um, when you know where you're staying tonight, would you call me and let me know? Yeah. No, no, it doesn't matter how late. I want to hear from you. Right, I will. That's, that's right, I'll, I'll call um, Vera as soon as I hang up. Okay. I love you. I love you. Do you? Really? Okay. Bye. Yes, operator, would you please get me a number in Denver? Mm-hmm. 303-553-6861. Hello? Is Vera Willis there, please? Would you bring her room? What? Well, uh, do you know when that was that she left? Did you say where uh, she was going? Or, or, or when she'd come back? Did she have two little kids with her? Uh, look, would you take a message? It's, this is an important message for, for Mrs. Willis. To call me immediately when she gets back. Oh, yeah, of course. Carol Turney. Turney. Mm -hmm. In Phoenix. Yeah. No, no, she has the number. Thank you very much. matter with buddy what mastoid but he was just fine when he left today where is he now vera well what hospital i mean hospital he, he just had the sniffles i don't understand he didn't say a word until we were having dinner and by then his temperature was very high no carol darling they're taking very good care of him here well, wait a minute. I'll let you speak to the doctor. Yes, he is. Penicillin. I see. What other drugs is he allergic to? Oh, yes. Tetracycline. And he can take no sulfur drugs, whatever. No, it can be surgically treated. But I'll need your permission for that. Well, then you have it, doctor. I mean, do whatever is necessary, whatever has to be done. And you are a doctor? Jacobson. Jacobson. Yes, thank you very much. Would you like to speak to your sister again? Yes, I do. Please put her on. All right. Hello, darling. Vera, I'm getting the next plane to Denver. Oh, good. I'll be glad to see you. I'll call Walter.
Operator. 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 Operator, they're not... Th yes, they're not answering, so, so just forget the call, all right? No, 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 I don't want you to try later. It's a place of business. They're not there. There's no one there. Uh, what I need you to do is get me the airport. Well, no, uh, what I need is an airline. Yes. I don't know which one. I, I, uh, the one that flies to Denver. Yes, then that one. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, I want to be on your next flight to Denver. W why not? But that's, that's, that's all. I just flew to Denver. They didn't mention snow. Well, how long will the airport be closed? Can't... All right, no. No, no, I don't need you to call me. No, thank you. Oh. This is Carol Turney in uh, room 804. I am checking out, so would you please have my bill ready? Yes, and bring my car around in front. And right away, please. Thank you. Thing. Um, this letter, this note, is for my husband, Walter Turney. He will be calling here tonight, possibly very late. When he does, would you see that he gets this message? Oh, yes. It's urgent. Certainly. Please understand that it's an emergency. You'll get it. Oh, can you tell me how to get on Interstate 17? Where are you headed? Denver. Straight through? Mm -hmm. That's a 16-hour drive. Just tell me how to get on the interstate. Just go right up here, three lights, take a right, follow the signs. Sure you want to go straight through? Thank you. this car with me. I'm so sorry. Do you know what they mean when they say lousy women drivers? They don't mean me, they mean you. Pumps are closed. But it's not 12 yet, is it? No, no it's not closed. Then why is that sign up there? Hey, look, lady, we got to clean up the joint, you know? Can't you unlock just one of the pumps? Tell you what, there's another place about a mile up the road. Oh, please. Listen, I need the gas. It won't take you long to unlock one of those pumps. I'm almost empty. Hey! Hey, you guys! Yes, coming up, coming. Hey, we're going to be late for those Hey, lady, days. about a mile up the road. Huh? Hey!
empty. Where can I get some gas?
Listen, I need help. What? Oh, thank God. You're... What are you Listen, saying? someone is trying to kill me, kid. Yes. He shot a police officer. What? I saw the whole thing. Are you sure? Yes, I, 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 will you help me, please? Well, tell me, what is your okay, box number? Okay, I don't know where I am. I mean, oh, I'm on the interstate. What is your box number? Oh, he's coming. He's, I see him. He's coming. Look. Where are you? What? No, I don't know what box number. I. Where he's coming for me. Are you there? Lady, hold on. What is your box number?
Not this lady. Oh. Ah. 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 oh. Uh, no, you, 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 you can have it. I, I don't want it here. You, you, you take it. Put it down. Then just, please, put it down. Just a dime is all. I need a dime for the telephone. That's all I need. Tell you what, I, I'll give you a dollar if you give me a dime, okay? No, and five dollars. Here. I, here. Here's a five dollar bill, just for a dime. Huh? I ain't got no money, lady. I have a thing. something to tell on me. Twenty dollars will cover the damage, don't you think? Oh, I'm uh, sorry if I frightened you. I, I gotta get going now, so uh, goodbye A and thank you. Thank you.
attentive to our duty. When in the evening we ride on the Portsmouth Tide, we have plenty of time for play. Ahoy, ahoy. for man of beast. Here, you look like you could use some of this. Listen, a man is trying to kill me. What? Back there, on the road, behind us, he's been following me, follows, driving me. Oh, no. He's trying to kill me. He wants to kill me. <laughs> now, now, wait a minute, lady. No, no, I'm not crazy. He's really, really there. He's been following me. You see, I saw him kill a man, and now he's trying to kill me. Exactly who is this guy supposed to have killed? No, no, I saw him. I saw him kill a, a police officer. With a shotgun. You see, he was speeding on the interstate. And and, and, the, and the patrolman stopped and pulled him over for the speeding. And, and then I merely pulled up, you know, to ask on a gas station. Hey, hey, and then on. he shot him. Come on, take it easy. Here, come on. No, really yeah, come on, come on, do you some good. Go I ahead. don't drink. Yeah, it's all right. Just take a look. Uh, now, where, where, where are you headed? Denver. Denver. What's in Denver? My son. Oh, my little boy. I've got to get there. He's in the hospital. All right. Okay, that's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's just take it easy. Oh, I get there. Just take it easy. Now, look, are you sure you didn't? Now, maybe you imagined. Oh, no. I didn't. Which, oh, yeah, a lot of tension. I saw it. Your imagination run him. right away. I know, but, but it's not the case. I saw him kill the patrolman. I'm telling you the truth. I am absolutely... Okay. You're telling me the truth. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Drive me to a no, telephone. No, Could you do down. that? We've got let's to get out of here. You see, Your friend's not going anywhere in all this rain. We're not going anywhere all this rain. I mean, the minute I saw rolling in, I said to myself, James, old man, you're not going anywhere all this rain. And we might just as well sit back and relax. Where are you from? Phoenix. East Hampton, Long Island, that's that's New York. I know. You know? You mean you've been there? What about Bayshore? Bayshore? We're practically neighbors. What did you do in Bayshore? Well, I lived there. I, I lived there. Why are we talking about this? Do we have to talk yeah, about this? If we this? don't, we're just gonna, you're just going to start freaking again. Let's go back to our nice conversation. Now, you say you knew the Harrisons in Bayshore. Do you remember? He gave marvelous parties. He plays polo. Do you know anybody who plays polo anymore? For that matter, you know anybody who lives in East Hampton anymore, except me. Everybody's gone. My house won't let me leave. Been in the family for generations. My wife, my second wife, is doing it over. She takes calico bed sheets and she glues them all over the wall. Instead of wallpaper, it looks incredible. It's got these incredible ideas. We've got planners going all the way up. Phoenix. He used to live in East Hampton. Listen, I've got to get you a phone. Take my car, he says. Not that far, he says. Oh so the God. next... There he is. Look, do you see him? Do you see him back there behind my car? Okay. Look, that's just a car. It's stuck like us. No, I'm telling you, that's him. That's him. That's oh. the man. Right. Listen. All right, I'll be right back. Yes, please. 
not a chance. Look, the odds are about a thousand to one. Whoever's in that car has killed nothing more important than a bottle of scotch. Probably your uncle from Bay Shore. I haven't believed a word I've said. I just know you're not going to relax till I find out. I'll be waiting. Oh, don't go out. Don't go out. Don't
Oh, hello. Uh, I'm, uh, may I come in? I, there's an emergency. I, I really would like to use your phone, if I may. Please. Oh, no, don't close the door. I must come in. Please. I just, I just want to use your telephone. Do, do you have a telephone? Do you have a telephone and a phone? Do you speak English? A phone. I must get to a phone. Can you tell me where to go? Amaya. Que pasa? Do you speak English? Oh, do you have a telephone? Oh, I must get to a telephone. Can you tell me where to go? A house four miles down the road to Spencer. Oh, good. Um, well, my car is out of gas. Does, is your pickup truck running? Well, d does your wife drive? My son. Well, where is he? In the fields. Well, I'll be very happy to pay him uh, $20 to drive me down to that house. Really, I, I will. The four miles. Oh, all right, then. Uh, could I possibly borrow your truck? My son has the keys. He is busy. The irrigation. But, but my, uh, my, my son, you see, is, 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 uh, he's a little boy. He's my baby. He's quite ill. He's in the hospital. A hospital, I, 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 that's far away. I don't, I haven't been there. I've been trying to get there and I have to. I must get to my son as soon as possible. I, I must be with him. I, I really must. Please. Please. He will come soon. You can wait. Your son, how soon? Maybe an hour. Oh, no, no, it's too long. I can't wait. I'll walk. I, I can't wait any longer. We will send him after you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Adios, señora. Vaya usted con Dios y que le vaya bien.
$20 for driving me down to that house. You know where we're going. They must have told you. Here's the $20. I, I told... Oh, yes, I, I told them I'd give it to you. Really not? They were beautiful to me, your clothes.
Dr. King does. Oh, how, how are you? Are you okay? Vera. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you've been to see through. you. Yes, me too. Everything okay now? Yeah. Uh-huh. Where is she? In the room? Okay, I'm going to see yeah, her. Go Darling, I want to see Mommy and Buddy for a minute. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. He's fine. He's just sleeping. How's my girl? I'm here. I'm sorry you had to go through all this with Buddy alone. You poor baby. You of all people. Walter, why do you say that? Me, of all people. Well, I mean, getting all the way up here without me? You're not exactly Gloria Steinem, you know. Oh, I know. I know I'm not Gloria Steinem. Not yet. Honey, it's just that some of us need looking after, that's all. You see what I mean? Now, what did you do to your hand? <laughs> Walter. <laughs>